Hey guys, Mr. Kaplan here. Welcome back to another upload. I wanted to do this thing because I had a bunch of thoughts randomly and I've been um meeting a lot of um new streamers recently um and you know getting to know people in different communities and uh, you know meeting gamers that play different genres and all sorts of stuff and you know I've kind of like seen you know a few things that streamers seem to have in common it's kind of like universal um and I just wanted to talk about you know as a streamer to maybe fellow streamers that are up and, up and coming um or new to the I was gonna say craft new to um <laughs> new to streaming um you know maybe some tips or pointers or advice or guidance or whatever you want to call it um so I don't have like a list set out it's in my head so I'm just gonna like blurt everything out and just it is what it is it's, it's Kaplan um so the first thing would be you know as a streamer if you're going to get into streaming you know the internet can be a very cruel mistress to get into bed with um and you know you're gonna you're gonna have trolls and you're gonna have people that you know aren't so nice and, and maybe want to see you fail or not do so well or you know just want to shit on people because they're shit kickers and you know um you're going to meet people like that you're going to come across them my advice to you when that happens is do your best try your best try your hardest to not let them you know get their hate into your heart into your stream into what you're trying to build because it's yours and it's special and you know you should never let anybody take that away from you um and those people you know it's a reflection on them not you how they treat others and how they behave and you know we're all we've all experienced trolls and yeah you're going to experience that but just keep strong and lean on your community when you're building it up you know lean on each other and you know also like even as a streamer you know you might be chilled and calm but you might find that people in the chat start getting really defensive or protective of you or you know start arguments or anything like that um just try and keep it cool try and diffuse it if you can as much as possible um don't don't give into it and cause drama because it just feeds it fuels hate and no one wants to be spreading that um okay so that was the first thing um the second thing is as a streamer i was gonna say because i want to do like kind of as a streamer as an audience but as a streamer uh <laughs> and this is like I, I tweeted about this so i'm gonna like reiterate verbally like sound check technical the technical side of streaming we need to talk about it listen listen like we need to talk about this the technical side of streaming you have to you don't have to but you should you really really should you have to <laughs> you should check your fucking audio sound check your shit a bitch can't clap because she's holding the phone like a basic bitch but i wonder like i'm gonna click it out sound check your shit <laughs> sound check your stuff that's the first thing obviously it's not just sound check but you know if you're using like um an elgato or obs or anything like that you know obviously you've got a bunch of other stuff that you've got to monitor uh you know alerts and notification boxes all that sort of stuff that you have but just the basic stuff you know sound check is probably the most basic thing your audience needs to be able to hear you you need to be able to hear yourself fucking talking and know if you're you know talking too loud or like you know you're above the game or below the game or the game's louder than you and a lot of the time you know i see this happen a lot streamers um may actually sound check the start of the stream so like let's say you're doing an intro and it's all you know quiet and the game's like you know ready to load and it's on the you know main menu paused or whatever and you're like hey everybody blah 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 and then you start the game and then you get like action sequences or some shit jumps off like shit's gonna pop off it happens in every game and when that happens you'll find that your audio levels may fluctuate with the game audio because different games have different audio settings some games as well if you play old school games or like remaster sometimes they um certain games like re4 for example you can't adjust the audio settings on that game so you have to rely on the audio settings that you have 
um, separate to that. You know, other other things you can adjust the audio settings on your own, like your PC or your um your PlayStation or your shitty fucking Xbox if that's what you that's how you want to roll. Really? Um anyway, uh you, you've got two different audio settings basically. You've got your your setup audio settings and then you'll have the game audio settings. So you can adjust it either way if you want, but just please adjust your audio settings. Check that shit when you start a stream um and, and check that shit you know when you're getting going if you've like if you're playing something that you've played before or something like that you know you could even do a test run and just privatize the stream um or something like that you can try and do that um but yeah that's technical stuff is important obviously lighting as well as you know um beneficial if you can get a good a good light they're not that expensive either like Cappy's a basic bitch and you know hopefully you guys can see me if when I stream on camera seldom do it these days but when I do you know you, you guys can kind of see me hopefully um what else there was so much shit in my head and that's all gone why you do this um oh yeah I wanted to say as a streamer as well when you are growing and you're building you know your community your foundation the first thing is don't do sub for sub, whatever platform you're on, follow for follow, whatever the fuck it's called. Don't do that shit. You want to grow it organically. You want to have authenticity. You want to have genuine people that care about you, that are like-minded, that you can share your views with and connect with and all that jazz. Like you don't want that artificial fake, you know, I'm here because you, I got something from you and you're getting something from me, but I don't really care. Like, that shit is not long-lasting, it's not, um, it's just shallow, and, you know, aim higher for yourself, and what you, you know, portray to people as well, is what is gonna sort of radiate outwards, so if you show love to people, they're gonna show love back, and you can do it organically, it might take a little bit longer, and I know people start off and they're like, oh my god, I have, like, no one watching me, and I stream for, like, an hour and there was like no one in there there was like one person in there dude <sighs> um <laughs> we'll touch on that as well because that's just popped into my head now but like you just keep persevering and be patient and give it time to grow organically it's like anything you know fucking flower doesn't grow in a day bitch like you gotta water your tomatoes anyway i don't know i said flower and i went to I, i'm growing tomatoes leave me alone um <laughs> and that's the other thing i was gonna say like you know expectations don't have expectations of people don't expect anything ever <laughs> ever i don't give a fuck if you donate to somebody i mean expect a thank you that's probably basic just common human fucking decency if a bitch doesn't thank you when you pay that bitch bitch better have my money fucking listen anyway let's move along but Besides a thank you, if you donate to somebody, don't expect anything else. Don't expect them to come to your stream, give you a shout out, fucking subscribe to you, fucking, I don't know, drop your link, moderate you, I don't know, whatever the fuck people expect these days, it's ridiculous. Do something out of your heart and out of your own goodwill, as a goodwill gesture and as a selfless fucking gesture. Like, don't do shit to be like, hey bitch two dollar donor hype like shut me out like whatever don't do that shit like it's so fucked up give to somebody if you one can don't give to give also if you can't afford to and um don't make people feel pressured to fucking give either and be grateful when people do give to you and when you do something for someone don't expect anything back don't be an entitled little petty just be kind to be kind. Um, and the same goes for anything else. Like, if you subscribe to somebody, they don't know your subscription back. If they want to subscribe to you, they will subscribe to you. That is the attitude you should have towards people. And I'm, I'm telling you, it's going to be better to get more people organically, genuinely, than to not do that. Um, so, yeah, don't have expectations of people. You know, treat people the way you want to be treated most of the time. Um, the other thing is, again, expectations 
of yourself, of YouTube, of Twitch, of Mixer, of wherever the fuck you stream. If you're a gamer, I can only speak to gamers pretty much. I mean, some of this stuff is pretty common for like whatever you do on platforms, like whether you're in art or fucking, I don't know, whatever people fucking do with their lives. That's not gaming. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about you. Um, no, I'm just, uh, I'm just kidding. Um, but whatever you guys choose to do, uh, don't, you know, I'm, I'm going to speak on gaming because it's, uh, I'm just going to talk on what I know. Don't expect too much of people. You have to be realistic. Like I said, like I'm touching on what I said before, give it time to grow. You know, you, you, you maybe ask people, ask other streamers, you know, and don't get offended if somebody comes in and they do it the right way and tries to help you and give you some genuine advice to help you out. Don't fucking act high and mighty like you're better than them. Don't dismiss them, you know. Um, and on the flip side, don't be arrogant and do that shit. Like, I know, fucking, I've been streaming for 12 years. Like, who the fuck's been streaming for 12 years, though? Um, but, like, just don't do that shit, you know. Be genuine and, you know, listen to people because sometimes you can actually get some good advice from fucking fellow streamers. Like, these bitches know what they're doing. Like, why would you not want to take that advice? Why would you not be willing to be open to suggestions? You know, feedback from your community is very important. Feedback in general. If I was, if I'm, like, I watch my own streams back because I want to see if I missed anything, which I usually fucking do. <sighs> Bitch. Um, if I fucked up something, if somebody came in and, like, my mod mods got rid of it and I missed that, you know, I want to see if somebody said something to me that, you know, is feedback, basically, because I like feedback. I also obviously self-evaluate because I watch my shit back. Because I want to see, you know, with my audio fucking shitty and then the next stream. I can't tell you how many times I've gone and watched my shit back and I myself fucked up and I thought my audio was good. I checked that shit. I fucking checked that shit. And I thought it was good and then, like, something will happen and it'll cut or, like, crackle. My mic fucked up a few times or something and no one fucking told me. Like, bitches were silent. So, you know, and then for the next stream I knew because I watched my stream back. So that the next time I adjusted it accordingly, you know, like feedback is good. Constructive criticism is good. If you're going to do this shit, whether you're doing it as a hobby or you're trying to make it a career, regardless, you need to have a tough fucking skin on here. You need to also be able to accept criticism. You need to be able to be open to um, feedback and, you know, that's just basic to me, anyway. It's just my advice, my personal opinion. Um, I think that your community can help you. Uh, my other advice is if you're a gamer and you don't know what genre or box you want to put yourself into, because, you know, YouTube, it's good to have a category. Not enough people know what the fuck they're doing with their lives. And I get it, you know, if you're starting out, you may not want, to, you may not know what you want to do. That's okay. Um, but... For those that, you know, kind of have an idea, but maybe don't know how to implement it, um, try different things if you want to, but once you do have the idea of what you want to do and you really want to, like, go for it and focus on it, you know, put all your energy and effort into that, you know, like, fuck, categorize yourself as what you are. If you're a gamer, say you're a fucking gamer. If you're, like, an arts and crafts person, you're an arts and crafts person, you're a painter, be a painter, whatever. But categorize yourself because not only does it help people find you, like literally fucking find your, your channel and your, your videos, your uploads, whatever, your streams, but it also helps actually build the community that you want to build. Um, and it helps on the platform because YouTube will categorize your shit pretty much unless you fucking take the lead, basically. Um, and even then, I think, like I got, I got bunched in as gamer, obviously, because I tagged all my shit and... It comes up on the gaming. So, you know, I wasn't making too much of an effort, but I'm glad YouTube figured it out. Like, saves me having to do shit, but it might not be the same with you. So put effort into your channel, you know? You don't have to have flashy stuff and, like, awesome banners and fucking, I don't know, whatever people do. You don't have to do all of that, you know? Just... <sighs> Focus on your channel, categorize yourself, for fuck's sake, please.
please do it. Please categorize yourself and, you know, be um, assertive with people and don't give up on what you want to do and do what you want to do. Do what makes you happy. Like, yes, take advice from people. But at the end of the day, don't let anybody make you feel like you have to do some shit. You don't have to do anything that anybody tells you to do or how they like it. You know, like there's going to be people that don't like what you do or what you say or how you act or what you fucking wear. You know what I mean? Like it, it is what it is. You can't always please everybody. You're going to you're going to offend people. And if you're a kind, sweet hearted person like me. I was pausing for laughter. Um, y It's going to happen. You can't please everybody. You just got to focus on yourself sometimes you know take a break if you need to this shit can fucking consume you it's like a vortex and then it's like quicksand and you're like help and then youtube's like ha no i'm just kidding i love youtube 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 um but like take a break if you need to you know stop and, and evaluate things and maybe readjust something and come back if you need to like do what you need to do um that's the advice that i can give i feel like i'm rambling it's been 16 minutes. A bitch is fucking rambling. This was meant to be like a five minute like dot point fucking presentation. Welcome to my TED talk. Um, it didn't work out that way. But yeah. The other thing I was going to say as a streamer. And this is like something I noticed recently through meeting different people. As a streamer. A suggestion I'm going to make as a fellow streamer. Who likes to go and meet new people and uh, get to know others. Is... And this is going to be basic, what I say, but I'll elaborate. Be welcoming. <laughs> Everyone's just like, bitch, I said hi. What do you fucking want from me, Kaplan? All right, listen. What I mean by be welcoming is I mean when somebody says I'm new here or you know because you, you know, you, you know your regulars and you know when someone's new, um, give them a little extra. Just give them a little extra. You know what I mean? It's like... It's like somebody fucking, you know, it's like swimming lessons and some bitch is like, you know, doing fucking freestyle, I don't know, 100 meters. How many, how many meters do people swim? Bitch is swimming 100 meters now. She's a fucking mermaid. I've decided. And then somebody comes in and they're just like, I don't know. I just, I'm learning how to swim. Like, I don't know, some shit like that. It was a bad metaphor. Don't judge me. My point is, is like, give them a bit extra because it can be intimidating as a viewer you know, to come into your community. It's like a little bubble, you know, and it's like a click and you kind of feel like you're infiltrating it at times because the streamer, the host, doesn't always have the time or make the time to acknowledge and welcome that person in maybe the way that they probably should. And then sometimes it can feel a little bit intimidating for other people because it's like, hey, like these people are all established and they're all you know, private jokes and in with each other and it's hard. it can be hard and a little bit, you know, daunting to newcomers. So my advice is just, you know, really make somebody feel welcome, feel good about being there and give them just a little bit extra, just a teeny tiny, just a little teeny teeny, um, just so they can have that little, you know, they can feel like, they're a few steps closer, you know, it's a little bit easier and easing them into it a, a little bit. That's my advice. Um, that's a personal one because it's something that I have, you know, kind of experienced myself. Now, I don't, you know, I'm I'm chill. Like, I don't take anything to heart, really. Um, I think a lot of people probably misunderstand me. And it's so hard through fucking text because there's no tone in text. So it's always going to be hard when you, you know trying to get in with somebody and you're like I want to be your friend love me and then people just like let's remove Kaplan let's please remove Kaplan um it, it, don't come off too strong this is to viewers and as a streamer to a streamer give that person a bit more if you have you know if you're playing a game and I get it trust me I get it you know try if you can and go back into the chat and read up on your comments try not to miss anything as much as possible and that's hard because, like I said, when you're friends with people and you're in that group, ha ha ha, headspace, you can actually get caught up. I think a lot of us have done it. We get caught up with the ones we know and our regulars and we don't always welcome the people in probably as best as we could. So, you know, put slow mode on, whatever. Do what you got to do.
just try your best. That's all I can say. Do your best to make people feel welcome. Um, because it can be a little in intimidating for some people. So, yeah, I think that's about it. There's probably more. I might make a part two. I might show my bobs. We don't know. We'll see. Don't know if anyone's going to watch this, but thank you for watching. If you did, leave a thumbs up. Even though I've just, just uh, I've taken the comments off. The, um, the like, sorry, but fuck it. Smack the like anyway. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. All right. That's enough of me now. Thank you for watching, guys, and I'll uh, catch you later. Remember, one love, guys. Make sure you share the love, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later.